Hey, hey, how you doing? David Taub here, co-creator of NextLevelGuitar.com. Hope all is going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journeys are going famously. And today, I have a lesson on major arpeggios. I got an email recently from a student who was commenting how we do a lot of stuff with minor key and all kinds of different minor arpeggios, but we just don't seem to give major key all that much, you know, all that much it's due and guilty as charged. I have some major key stuff out there, but certainly a lot more minor because I'm more of the rock kind of hard rock progressive, you know, in that kind of hard rock metal kind of playing um, where I'm using a lot of minor key. But we want to be sure to learn how to play rhythm and lead and solo in major key as well as minor key. So today we're going to be doing some major arpeggios in different places and how to connect them and maybe some licks and how to visualize the fretboard, right, in a more major kind of vibe. And if you get a sec, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing to the channel, that really helps us to keep bringing the content. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, click the like button, share it with your friends, and leave a comment in the comment box below. You know, let us know what um, lessons you'd like to see coming up. And we're going to be doing uh, Q&A videos too. We're going to take questions from our viewers and we're going to do video because I've been getting some great questions lately that I think will benefit you know so many people and i'll even pick some of those questions and give out some free random stuff like uh maybe some next level guitar t-shirts let's give out some of these check this out we got our kind of red and black baseball shirt has one of our cool logos on the front and check out that logo on the back right next level guitar that ain't bad right so um yeah i'll give out some of these maybe some dvds or something uh, we also have digital downloads, as you know. So, you know, write in your question. You can ask us anything, too, you know. Let's make it fun. It could be about guitar. could be about gear. could be about cars. could be about what I ate for breakfast. could be about my dogs. <laughs> whatever, anything you want to know about Next Level Guitar or me, put a question down there and uh, we're going to, and watch out for those Q&A videos where we're going to be answering our viewer questions. So we are going to be in the key of A, A major today. All an arpeggio is, is the notes of a chord played separately. Arpeggios are awesome and they can add a whole new dimension and texture to your playing. And um, if you've seen, if you're familiar with my lessons, I use arpeggios all the time. I love them because... You can really outline certain chords using them. You can really get creative with them. And it gives your sound a, something different because you're not playing notes like right in order. You're kind of skipping intervals. And they have a killer sound. because so it's really all about the sounds, right? That's, that's why we do this. It's what sounds best to your ears. Let's play this arpeggio starting on the root note on the fifth fret of the low E string. That's our A note. These are all movable, all these arpeggios. So. I'll show you how you can move them around to different keys. So I'm just showing you this in the key of A, but practice them in all keys. You're just moving the root note. The shape or the form stays the same. A major chord is made up of three intervals, the root, the third, and the fifth. So an A major chord is made up of the notes A, the major third, C sharp, and the fifth, E. Let's start off fifth fret low E string on the A note. And here's what we're going to play. We're going to play A, fifth fret, C sharp at the ninth fret, E at the on the um, A string at the seventh fret. There's our A major arpeggio, right? But let's continue playing those three notes down the strings. A, C, E. Our next A will be right here on the seventh fret of the D string. You can kind of bar that first finger and grab that. Then you got to stretch to the 11th fret of the D string for the C sharp. And then we got to get an E right there. First finger on that G string on the 9th fret. So you get this. A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E. Then 10th fret, B string, here's our A. 9th fret, high E string, C sharp. And 12th fret, high E string, E. You can even slide up to your A at the 17th fret of the high E string if you want. So basically slow. You want to just practice that, get the, get that under your fingers. Okay, so that's a real nice A major arpeggio. Now, not that you're always going to be playing straight up and straight back because just like you wouldn't play a scale, I would never play a 
a major scale like that, right? Sounds too stiff. Good arpeggio playing mixes arpeggio in with your scale notes and your licks and whatnot, right? And you kind of mix it all together and make music that way. Um, let me show you another A major arpeggio and then I'll show you how we could start connecting them together and all the licks will start, you know, going off in your head once you see these connection points. The connection points are really important because that really helps us with our fretboard visualization. If you want to see a lot of the scales where these arpeggios come from, I'll tell you what, click on that link below and I'll send you a free ebook paired with a video lesson. And the ebook contains over 20 scale diagrams. I talk about triads and arpeggios in there too, but all kinds of soloing strategies, major and minor key uh, lessons, it's packed. Um, you'll really like it. It's a great reference tool to use throughout your guitar journey. I'll send it to you for free. That first one we played in the key of A because we played the fifth fret of the low E string on the A note. Let's find an A note on the A string and we'll play an A major arpeggio off of the A string with 12th fret. So again, we're just going to play that A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E. So you want to get that under the fingers. By the way, these arpeggios, what I meant before when I said movable, let's say if you wanted to play that arpeggio, but you want to, you were in the key of E major. No problem. Just take that arpeggio, or maybe you're playing over an E major chord. You know, because a lot of times you might be playing these major arpeggios over major type chords. So if you want to play this in E, just move down to the E note at the seventh fret, right, of the A string. Play the same shape. There's your major shape. Back to A. Right? Movable. So it really makes it easy to find. So now let's try connecting those two arpeggios. Start off fifth fret, low E string again. Now, when you get up to this high E note, we're gonna go down that second arpeggio. So here it is together. That's nice because the lick ideas will start coming once you start seeing how these connect. And you can add in your notes of your major scale. So just practice that, connecting it, and you'll find you'll start to feel these licks coming. Let's do one more A major arpeggio off of the A string root, but this time with the first finger. Before we played it with our pinky, first finger on that 12th fret, and we're going to play this shape. Okay, again, it's the same thing. A, C sharp, E, A, C sharp, E, A. Same three notes in three different positions with three different shapes that are movable that you can play in any key. A nice way to um, connect the second and third arpeggio is to ascend up the second one I just showed you. Then when you get to that 12th fret, slide to the 17th and descend down that third one. Right? Here it is slow. And then when you speed it up, If you want to connect the first one to the third arpeggio, that's easy because when you get up top, again, you're doing that same motion where you're kind of sliding up to that high A. But here's what that would look like. And if you take the top three notes on the top two strings of each of those arpeggios, you know, you get some really cool lick ideas using those triads or just those top three notes. For instance, you remember this guy here, the second arpeggio I showed you, and the first one ended with these three notes. Here's our A, C sharp, and E, right? A lot of licks right there. Here I'm pulling off E, C sharp, A. There I'm pulling off, going up. Um, the second, the third one, here's our C sharp, E, A. You could do the same pull off. Pulling off on the 17 to 12 on the high. Or going from this one. Here's my C sharp, A, and E. 
So I'm leaving my first finger barred on that fifth fret on the high E and B, and I'm just pulling off kind of a down upstroke motion. With those three notes of those triads up top, pretty powerful. Get these three major arpeggios under your fingers. Use those connection exercises to really start to visualize that fretboard. And then when you're solid on those, add them into your major scales for your licks, mixing together your arpeggios and your you know scales. And then try to move them in different keys. Practice over jam tracks, right? They're an essential tool, uh, invaluable for the guitars to put what you're learning into a musical context. So I hope this lesson helps you uh, in your guitar journey of trying to, you know, learn some more arpeggios and different devices for major key. Have fun with it, put your own spin on it, make it your own, right? Practice over jam tracks. Remember, click on the link below. I'll send you that free ebook with all the scales diagrammed out, also a free video lesson. And don't forget, put your comments down there below and put your questions down there. More importantly, your questions, because we're gonna be doing those Q&A sessions. We're gonna give away some free Next Level Guitar swag. And uh, we wanna answer your questions and share them with all our viewers, because we're getting some great questions. Much like someone wrote in to do, had a question about major arpeggios, you know, we might choose your question too. And of course, like, subscribe, and share this video. We so appreciate your support over the years. Thank you so much. You guys and gals rock. Hey, remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. Take care and keep on rocking.